Denali was pulled from a shelter. She was on a kill list. She's pregnant. She's about to give birth. Hi, baby. Who is oh, this? This is Denali. The next thing we know, she walks <laughs> through the door with a pregnant dog. She's like, hey, I think that she's in labor. And I was like, OK, let's figure this out. You doing OK? You going into labor? And she's just a baby. We have an upstairs foster bedroom that's secluded, and so we borrowed a whelping pen. We set it up for her. We expected her to give birth any minute. We're like mad dashing puppy pads and blankets and putting everything down and rearranging and making everything perfect so she had a place to have her puppies. And she was like, just kidding. I just needed to get comfortable. And then we waited. We set up a puppy cam, and she kept us waiting for like, four days. Yeah, it was a while. I, it might have even been longer than that. And throughout the day, we would just check on her, and she would be or her back asleep like this. You know, she slept in the funniest ways, and we were just always checking in and taking pictures from the camera because it was hilarious to watch her. During that time, Denali lowered her guard and started trusting Casey and Amanda bit by bit. At first, you know, Denali was actually very, very timid and we, she wouldn't let us pet her for a little while, just very scared um, given like, her history of being, you know, kind of put back and forth. It took a lot of bonding. She was really uncomfortable. You know, we would go up there several times and like give her treats and stuff. She started to get a little bit more comfortable and you can see her demeanor change. She was starting to accept treats out of our hands. And then after a while, I think she just realized, okay, you're clearly not here to hurt me and I can trust you. So I'd come in with like a food bowl and she would start wagging her tail. You know, it, it took a while. I wanted to say she was, it was definitely right before she had yeah. puppies, like four or five days. Which was an absolute blessing because I didn't know her history and you didn't know how many babies she was gonna have. I was so thankful that she was able to make the breakthroughs with her because I was worried she was gonna need help because she was so big. Denali ended up giving birth to 11 puppies. It was really, really awesome and super magical just to see her, you know, become open and accepting. And it wasn't like some of the fosters we get, you know, it happens quickly, like, like oh, hey, I'm okay. Like, woohoo, best day ever. You know, let's get a puppuccino. And she was like, no, you're gonna have to earn it. You know, but it, it's the fact that she was letting us earn it while we spent time with her. And she had all these babies to be responsible for. And that that's different too. And all of them found homes, including Denali. My hope is that sharing stories like this will encourage others to adopt, foster, and volunteer. Subscribe if you agree. Turn on notifications for more awesome, heartwarming stories like this. And hit that like button if you want me to keep telling these amazing animal stories. Oh, and I put a link down in the description below for a video I think you'll really love.